You're nervous, you're scared, you're worried and you don't know what's going to happen. It may seem like things aren't going to get better. It may seem like all of the days, the weeks, the months are all merging into one and it seems like you can't make a difference between one day and the next. It may seem like these things are not going to get better, like the world will be forever changed, like things won't be different. It may seem like we're losing so much and part of that may be true, but we are also gaining. We're gaining perspective. We're gaining appreciation. We're gaining understanding. We're gaining hope. We're gaining connection even if it is just through a screen. We're gaining trust. We are gaining support. We are gaining presence with the people in our lives and people that we don't even know. We're gaining love for people that we've never met and we're gaining community with people that we have not and maybe will not ever meet. Through the stress, through the anxiety, through the worry, through the frustration, through the anger, through the fear, we will become stronger. We will become better. We will become this altered version of ourselves that has a deeper understanding for what's possible, that has a deeper appreciation for the people in their lives. We will become more connected. We will have a deeper appreciation for life than we have ever had before. Even if things get worse, we are stronger than anything that can happen to us. We are bigger than any circumstances and any challenges that are put in our way. We are bigger than our biggest problem. We are more resilient than any virus. We can outlast any threat. We are more courageous than any enemy that we have ever and will ever face. We are better together. We are stronger together. We are more of what we are actually able to be together. And we will outlast. We will come out of this better than we started, but we will not come out of this better just by doing nothing. We must raise the bar. We have to raise the game. Raise your will. Raise your energy. Raise your standards. Raise your commitment to the things that you want to create. Raise your commitment to your life. Raise your kindness. Raise your patience. Raise your willingness to be a part of the solution. Raise your courage. Raise your compassion. Raise your drive. Look at what you're doing every single day. What habits are you holding on to? What things do you keep on doing that you know that you shouldn't? What new habits do you want to build that you know will make you a better version of yourself? What habits do you want to get rid of? What new decisions do you need to make? And what decisions do you need to leave behind? How are you going to come out of this better than when you started? Wake up early. Put time and energy and effort into the things that matter. Give time to the people that matter. Put in real effort. Do more than you think you should. Do more than what is asked of you. Go the extra mile. Push yourself beyond what you thought that you were capable of. Add more value to every situation in school, in your relationships, and in your life. But even just setting goals is not enough. Writing down your goals, writing down what you want is not enough. Why? Because we do not take actions based on the goals that are written down. We do not take action based on what is on our vision board. We take action based on the way that we feel. And the number one way to overcome that, the way that we jump over that hurdle is one thing, is to take action. Regardless of how you are feeling. The one way to overcome the feelings that hold us back, the feelings of being unmotivated, the feelings of being lazy, the feelings like we're not good enough, that we can't do that thing, is to take action. If you don't feel like studying, sit down and study. If you don't feel like working out, lace up your running shoes and go for a run. If you don't feel like eating healthy, make the decision to choose the healthier option. When we make more decisions based on the place that we want to go, we allow ourselves to train our brains to know that we are in charge, that we are the ones making the decision, that this is our life, that we're the ones calling the shots. So if you don't feel like doing something, just do it. Just go. When you feel like giving up, when you feel like everything is against you, when you feel like the situation is going to get worse and you're nervous and you're scared and you're worried, you have to remember not only who you are, but what species that you are a part of. 
You're a part of the human race. We have sent people to space. We have created technology that allow us to talk to people from across the globe. We have cured some of the most potent diseases on the face of the planet. We have created peace. We have come together. We have started movements. We have supported each other through the toughest times in history. We have shown humanity that we can actually fight for something bigger than ourselves. That we can act for things that are outside of who we are. We have shown the world that we can come together for a common good. That we can come together and strive towards achieving a common goal. We are built for challenge. We are built for uncertainty. We are built for tough times. We are made for adversity. And we are more powerful together than any enemy we will ever face. We are bigger than this. We will get through this. We are stronger than this. As long as we play our part. You can either be a part of the problem or a part of the solution. You will either help the situation, not only your situation, but the situation of the people in your life and the people on this planet, or you won't. So quiet the fear, quiet the worry, quiet the anxiety, quiet the stress, quiet the frustration, quiet that voice in your mind that tells you that you can't, that you can't get through this, that things will get worse, that maybe you're just not strong enough. Quiet that voice, quiet the doubt. Don't let the thoughts that you can't handle this take up any access space in your mind. Quiet those voices and raise the volume on hope. Raise the volume on courage. Raise the volume on progress. That is what we are made for. We are built for progress. We are made to move forward. No matter what happens to us, we are designed and will always find a way to move forward. We always find a way to define the odds as daunting as they may seem. We are built to weather the storms that life throws at us. That is what we are made for and we can get through this. We will get through this. We can win and we will win together.